Good morning, you guys. If you can't tell from the desolate landscape behind me, we are currently at Badwater Basin of Death Valley National Park. We have an awesome adventure planned for today, so we'll be doing the Golden Triangle of Death Valley, which includes three of the most spectacular locations in the park, starting right here at the Badwater Basin Salt Flats. We're including the Golden Canyon and Gower Gulch Double Loop, and also the Artist Palette, which Adam claims he has some crazy off-trail adventure for us. And if you know Adam by now, you know that it's bound to get a little bit dicey. I am incredibly excited for today. We're starting with a 10K run across these salt flats. We've been dreaming of doing this for years. And since it is one of the coldest days of the year, we figured what better place to start with a run through the lowest and warmest place in the United States. So let's get this going. If we had world enough and time, we'd whisper slow on air. Well, this is amazing so far. In case any of you guys are wondering, since it's so cold out, this is not frost or snow on the ground. This is salt. It's so incredible. What a crazy run. We kind of made the assumption that the salt flats would mean it was going to be a pretty relatively flat trail run, but the salt crystals basically make these raised geometric shapes on the ground, which makes it really hard to not just trip and fall and break an ankle. So we're trying to be careful. <laughs> it is kind of difficult running, um, but we are running to stay warm and to get our 10K in and just to be out here all alone. I mean, it's quite amazing. If Look at this 360, you guys. Just, oh it's just us in this desolate, incredible landscape. It's really quite something. It's magical. <laughs> it's really magical. All right, should we keep going? Let's go. Let's go. hard to run and look into the camera at the same time because some of these ridges are like six inches high. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm making you carry the camera. <laughs> I'd be face planted by now. It, it's like running hurdles. <laughs> Here, look. <laughs> oh, give me your best hurdle. Are you happy that after all these years we finally got to do our salt flat run? I'm very happy. It warmed us right up doing all those hurdles. Really, really fun. Great way to warm up in the morning. You guys, like many years ago we came to the salt flats and it was 130 degrees. <laughs> in the middle of summer. And all Adam wanted to do was run on these salt flats. So he wrapped me up literally in ice <laughs> and he was like, just, just give me like 30 minutes on the salt flats. I thought we were gonna die, but we made it. We always said we wanted to come back and do this for a really long run when it was nice and cool. And here we are. It was great. Hope you guys enjoyed the salt flats. And next is Artist Palette. Woo, so excited. Let's go. Well, we have clearly made it to the Artist Palette. This is one of the most colorful places in the park. The different minerals in the rocks oxidize to make all the different colors. So we're just gonna explore through this and see what we can see. Some people want to walk alone to heaven's gate. I wanna run with you. I wanna hear you say that you will wait, that you'll take me.
Adam, of course, gravitating towards the diciest possible climb in the area. You got it, boo. Oh my gosh, Elise finding an excellent snack spot. It is not too shabby, huh? Well done, Elise. <laughs> wow, you're learning the skills. <laughs> learning the ways. Absolutely, it's quite vertiginous. If you were to roll off, you'd have quite a slide down the face there. I'm trying not to do that. <laughs> it's beautiful, though. Absolutely beautiful. All the colors, all the hills. This is a very nice spot. Yum. All right, let's snack it out. that he is determined to get to the top of artist palette but this looks so sketchy <laughs> it's not that bad you guys we're almost there it is going to be really steep the rest of the way as you can see but we won't do it if it's too dangerous if it's too dicey we'll uh we'll turn but i think we can make it all the way to the top and i think that would be very cool this is such a beautiful place you know adam loves a good dicey climb <laughs> we'll see how it goes the rest of the way no. Where are we, Elise? We're at the top of Artist Palette. The top of Artist Palette, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> are you happy? I am happy. It was a very fun climb. Yeah. A little bit sketchy because the rocks are just so um, soft. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. No, we probably wouldn't recommend it, but yeah. it is very cool being up here and looking down on all that we just explored. How the heck are we gonna get back down? Well, if I had to bet, I would bet Elise is gonna go with her patented butt slide. Mm -hmm. And I might do some crab walking myself because it is really steep and loose. Yeah, you can learn from me. <laughs> She's using what I like to call her Bambi technique. <laughs> looks like a baby deer just learning to walk. Oh no. I'm not sure what the technical term for the Bambi is. Oh, now she's gone to the crab walk. Huh. Oh, now Bambiing again. <laughs> now, still Bambi. Oh, now half crab. Good job, Elise. Get down that gully. <laughs> no one ever said I was a gazelle. <laughs> it's fine when it's solid. It's just the loose rock where you don't know when you're going to slip. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe you do, I don't know. Well, I just kind of factor in the slip. How do you do that? Because you know it's going to slide a little bit because it's gravel. Or you could just go with full Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> Bambi was really cute. <laughs> All you camera people out there will hopefully respect the fact that I did this on two feet while shooting the entire time. Adam definitely wants those props. <laughs> ah, I want my cameraman props. You did good, boo. Hopefully that descent looked cool. All right, well, that was really fun. Artist palette is a definite must when you visit Death Valley. 100%, absolutely mm -hmm. beautiful. You can make it as hard as you want to make it. It can be yeah. very challenging like what we did, or it can be really just wandering around in the beautiful um, colored rocks. Mm -hmm. And now we're off to the third and final point of the Golden Triangle. We're gonna go check out the Golden Canyon and Gower Gulch Loop. Should be about another 10K and pretty yeah. steep. Woo! 
Woo, let's go. Yeah. Okay, we are on it. All right. Okay. okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> okay, we are on our last adventure. Why can't I speak? I don't know how to talk anymore. Okay. <laughs> You're cracking me up. Okay. I'm sorry. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are on our last. Why can't we? <laughs> All right, you know what? We're putting that no, in. No. We're putting it in. Let's go again. That's too funny. <laughs> you like started like seven times. Oh my goodness! I, I, I have like a praxis or something. We got up. We got up awfully early to do that 10k <laughs> through bad water, and I think. <laughs> the fatigue is starting to tell. I'm getting a little delirious. Okay. Fortunately, we only have about six miles left. <laughs> All right, guys, we are on our last adventure of the day. We are at Golden Canyon, and we're just going to explore through this canyon and then loop it with Gower Gulch. It's going to be about 10K total, and it's our last adventure of the day, so we're going to haul some butt and get this thing done and go get some dinner. Woohoo! You guys, Elise is really pushing the pace through here because there's a strong breeze, which is quite cold, even though it's getting warmer outside. It's like a wind tunnel. And if you want to see Elise run fast, just give her a cold breeze and she picks it right up. So true. Well, we found a loophole through the massive amounts of people on the Red Cathedral hike, <laughs> which is to just head straight uphill, which most people do not do. And we're gonna keep going up. Well, we went off trail from the Red Cathedral, just headed off to the right and uphill. And now we are all by ourselves with incredible views. <laughs> It's amazing over here. This behind us is not even the Red Cathedral, but I personally think it's even cooler. Yeah, you guys can tell us what you think. You saw the shot of the Red Cathedral, and yeah. this is pretty cool too. <sighs> I think I saw a ridge line that might take us back to the main trail. You think so? Well, we're gonna try it. We can run down it, at least for a ways. Yeah. And it could be a really amazing ridge run. So we'll see what happens. And Let's if we that. get clip bombs, we'll just head back. Yeah. Can we get down? Get Let's go! <laughs> How do you do that? How are you doing Come that? Come on, Elise! I'm coming, I'm coming! <laughs> How's this for a trail run, you guys? What a trail. You're not gonna run this part? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. 
What if I just parkour this? Do you know how to parkour? I might be able to figure it out. All right, let's see you out in parkour. All right. Are we ready to parkour this? I mean, I'm ready. I don't know about you. I don't know either. <laughs> I do not have a high level of confidence in I'm this. Going. What? Oh. That was the biggest parkour <laughs> fail. What? How was that even parkour? <laughs> you just like gently glided down. <laughs> I think that is not because, the definition. Because my parkour is so smooth, and it <laughs> seems effortless. It's deceptively <laughs> effortless. Oh my God, how did your head get this ah. big? I'm kidding. I don't think that was good parkour. <laughs> all right guys, well we are almost back at the trailhead. And I think it's safe to say we all learned one really important lesson today. And that is that Adam has zero idea how to parkour. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I no have rebuttal. absolutely no rebuttal. I cannot parkour. Uh, we did learn, learn one other lesson though, mm -hmm. which is that when you do Death Valley hikes, guys, as long as you go at least a mile past the trailhead, there's nobody. No one. Everything we did, once we got a mile or two past the trailhead, the, the crowd didn't just thin out. There was absolutely no one. We were yeah. all by ourselves. Yeah which is completely awesome. So just make that little extra effort. Yeah, I hope you guys love the golden triangle. Yeah, I wanna know what your favorite point of the triangle was today. And for those of you who have done these, let us know if we missed anything. We think we covered pretty much all the really cool stuff on these three adventures, but let us know. See you guys next time. See you next time.